Hi, I'm Evie. I'm a PhD student in the Natural Humanities Group at Imperial, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of my poster. So my poster is about chemical and magnetizations, and we've been modelling them using Physic theory. Um, and I'm interested in CRMs because they're really widespread in nature, from like the oxidation of titanium magnetites to the production of hematite in red beds. And I'm um, interested in how they contribute to magnetic remnants and paleo intensity estimates. So we've been using Prysic theory to model them, which allows us to model CRM acquisition for specific magnetic assemblages because the input could come from a fork diagram. Um, this is similar to the TRM or the same as the TRM Prysic model that my supervisors developed, um, which I've adapted for a CRM. And you can kind of see that we can use it to model a grain growth CRM, which is when magnetic minerals grow in a non-magnetic matrix, which is the most simple type of CRM and therefore the one we've decided to model first. And I've used this model to investigate a wide range of different um, magnetic assemblages and different conditions, so things like growth rate, to find out how CRMs respond. So just a kind of a couple of examples of things that I've looked at, and there's more on my poster. One thing that we were interested in is CRM intensities. And we can see here by this blue line that the CRM intensity decreases for increased interactions, which is on the y on the x-axis. Um, and this makes sense, as you have higher interactions, you record the field less well. And you can see that the decrease in CRM intensity with interactions is significantly less than the decrease in the TRM. And this is because the volumes are smaller during blocking, therefore the interactions experienced are less. Um, we've made a lot of comparisons to TRMs by using the TRM Prysic model. So as we're interested in how CRMs contribute to pale intensity estimates, we looked at how CRMs would behave during the Tellier Paleo Intensity Determination Method, and we looked at their arrive plots. And as you can see, the CRM arrive plots are curved. And this degree of curvature increases with interactions and for and with um, a decrease in coercivity. Another kind of important thing to look at is that there's these two regions of linearity at high and low temperature, with the potential for Paleo Intensity estimations um, to be used. And particularly important is this region of low temperature where you have the opportunity to make a paleo intensity estimate for um, without altering the sample if this was a real sample. So this is kind of a couple of things that we've looked at. Um, there's a lot more on my poster. And yeah, so come to my poster to chat about the model and look at what we found out. So cheers for listening and I'll see you in my poster.